Good morning my students. Welcome back to the Orchard Grammar School Mathematics class. The topic of our lesson is column and subtraction for whole numbers. In this lesson, you will be able to learn about column subtraction, including where carrying is required. You will be able to solve problems using column subtraction. Before starting our lesson, let us see some of the questions that either can we solve it mentally or not. Good job, my students. What is column subtraction? When we cannot work out any two numbers mentally, we can subtract those numbers with the help of column subtraction. For example, we want to subtract 253 from 857. We will write the numbers as per their place values. So let's start. Beginning with the units column. 7 minus 3 is equals to 4. 5 minus 5 is equals to 0. 8 minus 2 is equals to 6. So the answer we get is 604. Column subtraction where boring is required. Now, when subtracting, if a smaller number in a column is over a bigger number, we must use borrowing. Keep in mind, only the digits on the top row can borrow and lend. For example, here is a question. Because 7 is larger than 4, so we are not going to take 7 from 4. Instead, we will borrow from the 3 in the tens column. This 3 will become 2 and the 4 becomes 14. We don't subtract 5 from 2 because 5 is bigger than 2. Instead, we borrow from the 8 which becomes a 7 and makes 2 a 12. We can subtract easily now 7 with 0 that we get 7. So the answer is 777. Often, borrowing becomes difficult when the number we are trying to borrow from is 0. Now see what happens next. Because 5 is larger than 1, 1 must borrow from the digit in the tens column. However, this digit is 0 and has nothing to lend. Because the digits can only borrow from the left hand neighbors, so the 1 cannot get a loan. However, the 0 in the tens column can borrow from its left hand neighbor and that is the one in the hundreds column. This one becomes a zero and a one is placed next to the zero in the hundreds column making it a ten. The zero in the tens column now has a left hand neighbor that it can borrow from. We cross out the ten replaced with a nine and put a one next to the zero in the tens column that makes it a ten. Finally, the one can now get a borrow from its neighboring partner. We cross out the 10, replace it with another 9 and put a 1 next to the 1 in the units column. This makes it 11. So, the answer we get is 26. Practice time my students. Now, let's solve these questions and see that are we able to solve the column subtraction questions? Here you go. Well done, my students. Let's use inverse operations to check answers. Keep in mind, by subtracting these both numbers, you will start the subtraction from the units column. So, 9 minus 2 is 7. Now, the borrowing is needed in this question. So, 3 will borrow 1 from 8 and it becomes 13. 13 minus 9 is 4 and now 7 minus 4 is 3. Well then students, I hope this lecture was clear enough to know about the column subtraction. See you in the next lecture students. Goodbye.